Hello. More autumnal, breezy and showery conditions to come this weekend. An area of low pressure will sit in the mid-Atlantic, a very deep area of low pressure, but these extremely tight isobars are thankfully not going to come close to the UK. More likely we'll see weather fronts thrown ahead of the low and the isobars uh, tightening up towards the west, but nothing too significant as far as the winds are concerned. A relatively calm start in the east of the UK as we begin Saturday morning. Temperatures in main urban areas into the low single figures in more shelter spots down below freezing. So a touch of frost and a chilly start here first thing Saturday. Milder further west where we're already seeing the cloudy breezy and wet weather arrive. Certainly some heavy rain about first thing for Northern Ireland and that pushes into parts of West Wales, Western Scotland, Western England during the morning. Accompanied by strong winds, just about touching gale force around exposed coasts of Western Scotland, Irish Sea coast as well. The winds for most will be moderate to strong and the rain will push eastwards during the day fragmenting a little, turning a bit lighter as well, but a damp day to come for much of England and Wales, central and eastern Scotland. Brighter skies, though, arrive into western Scotland, Northern Ireland, perhaps west Wales by the end of the afternoon. And it's going to feel relatively unpleasant, I suspect, where you've got the breeze and the rain, but it is a bit milder compared with Friday, 13 or 14 in the south, 12, 13 further north. Now the rain, as you see it there, is largely light and patchy on Saturday afternoon. But as we go into the evening and overnight, so we could pip up for a while across the southeast corner and possibly linger. So that's something we keep our close eye on because we've had some very wet weather through the week in the southeast, so it's a sensitive area. And uh, further wet weather on Saturday night could cause some issues. First thing Sunday, the brighter colours there indicating some of that heavy rain. Also, coastal gales just about affecting the far southeast coast. Otherwise, for most, it's a breezy day on Sunday with further showers coming in from the west. These will be lively once again, hail and thunder mixed in along with a gusty wind. You'll know it when these showers move through. And they'll be most frequent in the west with after the rain clearing in the southeast, the best of the drier and brighter weather towards the east, some sunny spells in between the showers. Towards the end of the afternoon, we could see a pepping up of the showery activity towards the southwest, even some longer spells of rain moving in along with a strengthening breeze. But that breeze is coming from the southwest, so it is bringing milder air. Each day, temperatures are ticking upwards at the moment, and as a result, 15, perhaps 16 in the south, 11 to 13 further north. There is more unsettled weather on the way through next week, spells of rain and wind, especially towards the west. But at the same time, those temperatures will continue to rise.